Now, sports coverage in the panhandle spirit with Lee Baker. Hello, everyone. Lots going on this Wednesday night. We're going to start way out west on the islands where the first full field PGA event begins tomorrow. The Sony Hawaiian Open. Amarillo and Ryan Palmer, who won the event two years ago, is set to make another run at the title. He likes the course. He's in good shape to start the long golf season. Yeah, I've been at home mainly, obviously, just uh, working hard with a, you know, a trainer I work with in Dallas, and you know, three days a week, and then you know, I get a couple hours a day if I really want to. But uh, mainly just hanging out home, relaxing, and just put the time at the gym, I'm trying to get my body, my body ready. So uh, definitely the uh, best I felt physically and part of my career. I'm excited about this week. Uh, the work Randy Smith and I put in, and you know the. the the work I did, so uh, I'm uh, more than ready this week than I have I've been in the past. Just my, my game itself is, I've been, I'm the probably most excited I've been coming into a season uh, starting this year. All right, along with Ryan, another native Amarillo and Johnson Wagner will be in the field. So will West Texan Chad Campbell. You can see the action from 6 to 9.30 p.m. on the Golf Channel. Now to the night's hoops. We start in Lubbock. Uh, Bill Self and his 10th ranked Kansas Jayhawks. Down in the hub city to take on the Red Raiders. Tech opens the floor early on, and it works. Javars Willis gets a couple of layups to start the game, and Tech in good shape. Kansas up now. It's Tyshawn Taylor. Drives, stops, pops, swish. Now Tech actually hung for a while. Inside it goes to the freshman Jordan Tolbert. They get a steal. They get a layup. Tech led. But look at the final score. It's ugly. 81-46, Kansas clobbers them, and tonight Texas beats the Aggie men. Let's go to women's play in Norman. Unbeaten Texas Tech taking on the Sooners, and the band fired up. Yeah, both teams hot from the uh, start outside. It's um, Aaron Ellenberg for OU, and they have the lead. Tech then hits a lot of three balls. This is Kira Mallard. That's a three. Next time down court, it's uh, Christine Hyde. That's a three, but... The Red Raiders lose. Lady Raiders lose. 71-68. Let's go to the scoreboard. It's their first loss of the season. Baylor, no problem with OSU. Uh, UT women beat uh, Texas A&M's ladies. WT men have never trailed. Right now they lead with two and a half to play. The ladies lose to Midwestern. And Eastern New Mexico gets swept over in Cameron. All right, let's talk some high school hoops. The AISD coaches were talking about that with the media today. All eight of them. Over at the Dons and Lady Dons chasing playoff berths. The boys share second place. The uh, girls hold down the fourth and final spot. They're still not playing like I feel like a Lady Dons team should play. They are young and they need a little bit more experience. But when you consider the district that we're in and the schedule that we play, I feel like they are making some progress, but not quite fast enough. As far as where we are this time of year, it's probably like, like a lot of people feel. We, we still have improvement to make. I, I do think at this point in the year, I mean, it just comes down to a one game at a time mentality. You just really have to focus on the next step. Uh, uh, you know, work on the things you've got to do to win that next one. So. By the way, PD's going to host Plainview Friday, a couple of games, and both will have playoff implications. Some other notes, Robert Griffin III made it official today for going his final season at Baylor to NFL draft. The Dallas Cowboys are making coaching changes. D-backs coach and the one-time head coach, Dave Campo, did not have his contract renewed. O-line coach Hudson Houck is retiring. He'll be replaced by Bill Callahan, former head coach at Oakland and Nebraska. And in the NBA tonight, San Antonio beat Houston overtime in Dallas. What a really good game at Boston. I watched you know that. And they did it without their coach. We got kicked out in the third quarter. But you love when your coach gets kicked out. You know, Watch what you get for you. running on the court from yeah. halfway down. The bad, <laughs> Referees bad. don't like that. Bad, bad. <laughs> they keep it interesting. No, they do. <laughs> All right, thanks, Baker. Tough love can take on many forms. This is the form it took in Indiana this week when a woman decided she'd had it with her son. See what she did next.